So this video asks the question, if you've never sold a piece of your original work in say three years or ever, I need to know if that's okay with you. We're gonna shoot that the other day. I just recently got back from Amsterdam in Berlin. As many of you know, you've seen some of the videos. Leading a couple workshops and there were people who had been in the business for 20 and 30 years who had never sold a piece of their original content. And they had all these stories inside them. And on my last night there, I made this video and I think you'll see I'm a little heartbroken. So I'm leaving Amsterdam uh, after being uh, here in Europe for a couple weeks. I was here and in Berlin doing some workshops. Uh, and I, I, I've, it's a bit bittersweet. There are so many filmmakers that I met that are just immensely talented um, and that work so hard to create the work that they do with very little resources and very uh, little acknowledgement for how hard they work and the story was the same I mean I'm traveling the world obviously meeting a ton of different filmmakers and the story is the same everywhere that uh, they've been doing it making so much stuff for years to little or no avail they're still paying to work and I, I want to tell you, you have to let go of the Hollywood dream. That's, I truly believe, the thing that's killing you. Um, what it does is it, it, is it keeps you locked into a very narrow picture of what is possible. And I think that these filmmakers that I met they all have these stories inside them that they can't get out, that they can't um, get the resources to, to, to put into the world. And then when they finally managed to, it was done on, on, on the cheap and, and they didn't get the recognition. I'm here to tell you, you can make this into a business. Every single person le watching this, the, the days of kind of running from studio to studio with your script under your arm are over. But you know what? There's never been a better time to create content. There's never been more market for really good content. You don't have to be Martin Scorsese. You don't have to have Denzel Washington in your, in your film. You can have quality storytelling as long as you treat your career like a business. And you can sell those stories and you can get recognized. Because if you're not getting your stories out to as many people as possible then and, and you've been making this stuff for years then you got to ask yourself if that's okay you got to ask yourself if that's the right way if you're doing it the way you should be doing it and the tools that got you into that situation are not going to be the tools that get you out so you have to find a whole new set of tools and I don't care if it's through me or through somebody like me, but go out and forget the way you've been doing it. Just literally, I had to rearrange my entire career. I literally tore it to the ground and rebuilt it. And I'm living proof that you can continue to work and see the world and get people affected by your work because that's ultimately why we're here. We're here to affect and have impact on the world. So I'm asking you to let go of whatever you think you're doing. Put down any, any, any sort of clinging to, if I just do more of this, then I'll make it. Or uh, all I have to do is make a piece of work that's so good that I'll get discovered, quote unquote. Those days are over. You got to run this like a business. And if you want help with it, I, you know I'm here. I've always told you that. I'll leave my contact information in the description. And 
I hope to hear from you. I'm talking to you. There you go. Um, I, I think the thing that I hope you take away from this is that we have to think from minute to minute while we're doing this. Like ask yourself what you can do in the next hour to move the needle, to go towards that thing that you've always wanted to be known for, that, that work that you started this for. I mean, that's the reason we do this. It's not to point cameras at CEO's heads. And if that's your vibe, I, I, I totally respect that. But if it is that you want to tell stories, those ones that are inside you, I ask you to do one thing, and that's kill your old worldview that keeps getting you in a place going from gig to gig and simply working to pay the bills. It's an endless cycle. It, it, we always kind of, and I know I did, had this idea that, you know, if I just keep doing this, it's gonna get better. And I'm living proof. Uh, so don't think that I'm sitting on, in some ivory tower, uh, you know, telling you what to do. I, this was me. I was the king of the, you know, $5,000 eyewear commercial. Uh, and, and I was miserable because I had all these stories inside me that couldn't come out. And, and they, they, they hurt me <laughs> in a lot of ways, right? Those things that felt unreleased and unrealized. And so I only ask that you decide what you're doing and self-evaluate that if this is you, if you're crushing it, great. If you're not, and you feel like you're on the outside looking in, or you feel like that dream of having a career where you show up on set and work with creative people and are leading from the front and, 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 and watching your story get created and released into the world, if that's what you want to do, then now is the time. It's not going to happen tomorrow. There isn't a lifeboat coming. The cavalry isn't coming over the hill. It's all you. You are not competing against other filmmakers. You're competing against yourself. Because I know I do every day. And I know what it feels like. And I know how hard it can be. So if this makes sense to you, leave a comment below. I'd like to hear where you are. You know I always do. And I will always answer you. Your comments matter to me so that I can make this channel better. And that is my goal, is to get you guys actionable information that can get you where you wanna go. Because you really can do this. This isn't magic. My goal is to get you actionable things, not theory, not speculation. I only give you reference to things I've been through. So don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the little notification button and I'm talking to you.